The mission of the Novo Nordisk Foundation Quantum Computing Program is to enable the development of fault-tolerant quantum computing for life sciences. Developing such a complex technology, there is enormous amount of parameters and we need to be able to be data-driven. Generate a lot of high-quality data is important to make the right correlations and make us be dri driven by what data tells us rather than what we think is the right direction. We have just completed the preparation phase for our Pathfinder phase. So the Pathfinder phase is really about both being good at doing scalable and systematic engineering where we can build on top of results uh, as we go along. But at the same time, we also have the freedom to choose some more exploratory path to find the really cutting edge uh, technologies for quantum computing. Completion of the whole program is something we have set on our high level roadmap is in uh, 2035. As we develop the program in more detail, we actually find out it, was, it would make very good sense to split out some of the tools development into a company, which we call the Quantum Foundry Copenhagen. One thing is that the company can also work with external parties, with trade secrets and so on, which is not possible in academia. So we have a company that focuses on building these new tools, and then they will deliver the tools for the process development together with the academia. We have many different teams on many different levels of our, of our program. When I say levels, I mean our NQCP ladder, which is uh, starting from all the way down from material science in the bottom all the way up to use cases in the top. We have defined kind of 15 levels of research that goes together and it's very interdisciplinary. The applications and algorithms team at NQCP is focused on the question of how are we going to take the quantum hardware that will emerge and make a real impact in chemistry and life science. We worry about what are the right use cases, what are the models we should use to represent chemical and biological systems, as well as quantum algorithms and all of the issues involved in quantum resource estimation we will have the, the, the opportunity to simulate quantum mechanical processes at, at a scale which we cannot do right now. And right now we have a couple of problems where we can see that this might make a difference. Uh, one of them is nitrogen fixation, where, where there are these uh, metalloenzymes, which are, are very challenging to simulate, if not impossible with, with the conventional computing, but near or medium term quantum computing might give us like some new answers. One of the core values at NQCP is to be data-driven. And for that, we do have something we call data-driven R&D framework, which is built for uh, centralizing the data in one place, with the parameters and putting it in one database where all researchers can access it. What does that mean in, in practice? That means that instead of working in different silos and collecting our small data sets on our maybe local computers or somewhere else, we actually do sit, gather all the data centrally and not only gather the data, we actually set requirements for the data and set the schema standards, definition standards, and also how we're gonna use that data later on in the process for actionable decision-making. And of course, in the long run, whenever we collect the data in the, later on in a pathfinder phase, we do aim to use the machine learning algorithms to help us to actually boost the R&D process even further. The 15 to 18 year olds today are going to be the ones, as PhD students, who will assemble the first fault tolerant quantum computer. So we need to inspire them to come and study with us, to develop the skills needed to build fault tolerant quantum computers. We believe strongly that the demand we see now is only going to be bigger in the future and being able to have skilled workforce, well that could really be the bottleneck for the development of quantum technologies broadly. Building a quantum computer is a huge task and collaboration is essential. The NQCP program is very collaborative not just internally but also towards the rest of the world. The Danish quantum ecosystem is really thriving these days with the new national strategy and also we are trying very much from the NQCP to help develop and strengthen the Danish quantum ecosystem. In the location where we are today is built on top of uh, Niels Bohr's uh, legacy you can say. It's in the same buildings, people feel motivated by coming here, having the historical sense 
when you are standing here in, the, in this room, for example, you know a lot of great discussions has been taking place here over the years. Then that motivates a lot of people. Just here in January, we passed uh, hundreds of people and we are still increasing the numbers. I think it's super exciting to be part of this quantum computing program because we both span the exploratory next generation developments and really hardcore engineering to build technologies based on these fundamental ideas. That combination is super exciting.